Hey everyone, it's Thomas here. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain how you can make a light sensing robot that will play different tones. Um, I'm just going to let you know that this program is a little complicated, so if you haven't looked at my other tutorial videos, you might want to check them out. So, we're going to start with the basics here. So, what we're going to have is a robot that continuously runs over um, a set of different colors to play tones. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to have this robot running continuously, but at the same time reading in sensor values. Um, and those two things are not related though. They're independent of each other. So how we're going to do that is we're going to we're going to code in sequence, something that you guys don't know yet. So right now if you go down this little block, scroll all the way down, we're going to have this motor running for nine seconds. And um, the reason we're running it for nine seconds is that the song takes nine seconds to play. And now we're going to read in light sensor values. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a switch structure. So we're going to have three colors. We're going to have black, gray, and white. So if it's really light, um, it's going to go up and it's going to check to see if the sensor value is greater than 68, which corresponds to white. So you go up here and it plays a G. And it's going to continue to play this G until it's no longer sensing the white value, so less than 68, and then it exits. And then it's going to go back and check again and see if it's above or lower than 68. If it's below, then you're going to either be reading a gray or a black value. So we go in here and we're going to have to check if it's gray or black. If it's gray, it's greater than 58 and it goes in here. So what's happening here is in order to exit this loop, you can't just have a conditional if it's less than or greater than because it could be either of those. It could either be a black or a white. So we're going to need to check the range. So if it's outside of the gray range, which is 58, between 58 and 65, it exits out of this program. And while it's in this, it's going to play the note A. If you are playing, or if the sensor is reading in a value that corresponds to black, it's going to play this, and then it's going to exit out if it's greater than that value. So now I'm going to show you guys what the program or what the robot looks like and what it actually does. All right, here's the, the light sensing robot that um, I made, and um, depending on what value you are picking up from these different colors, black corresponds to a B. Um, this light gray corresponds to an A, and white corresponds to a G. So whenever the robot goes past um, these values and the light reflects off, it reads a different value, and thus a different tone is played. Um, the only thing to keep in mind if you guys are going to build some sort of light sensor robot to output sound is make sure to read your sensor values first so you know what values you're working with. I explained that in a different video, so you guys can check that out. Um, other than that, we're just going to play my robot right now, so you guys can see it in action. Yeah.